Welcome to ITV Gold. Uh, today on Face to Face, uh, we have with us a very special guest from uh, Federation of Indian Association, FIA New England Area Chapter, which is the brightest uh, organization in the North East region and the Federation of Indian Associations New England along with uh, numerous uh, you know uh, sponsors and supporters is holding an India Day Parade which is on August 13th 2022 uh, to celebrate Azadi Ka Amrit Amohot so on the 75th anniversary of India's independence so today let me uh, introduce the FIA leadership team I have with me Neha Mishra who is FIA New England spokesperson, a beautiful person, you know, I have been talking to her before this interview, uh, and she, of course, is a media coordinator. She manages media relations, uh, devising strategies to raise brand awareness through media communications. And we also have Anand Sharmaji, who's a chair of FIA New England Volunteering Committee, who provides all kinds of uh, help to execute all events in a successful manner. So I would like to welcome them to ITV Gold. And, uh, you know, I would first of all say, you know, uh, congratulations to all of you for first, uh, you know, India International uh, Day Parade at Boston Harbor. Tell me, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, we are doing good. Thank you so much uh, for having us here and giving the opportunity for our organization uh, for about uh, this event, which we are organizing on 13th of August uh, uh, from 10 to 3. So mm -hmm. most of the time uh, uh, we do the different kind of activities, but this one is that totally different than what we did in the past. Absolutely. So, you know, I want to ask both of you, Neha and Anand, you know, uh, after New York, New Jersey and Connecticut, you know, FIA has been spreading its uh, wings uh, to a lot of states. But why New England uh, chapter? Yeah, so I can um, take that question. I think, uh, you know, first of all, thank you so much for having us uh, here, you know, uh, and giving us the opportunity, you know, to talk about this um india's 75th celebration international india day parade that we're going to have in boston i think all the fia family here in new england is super excited and pumped you know to be a part of this event mm -hmm. uh the all of our volunteers have been working uh very relentlessly tirelessly you know not sleeping and we are very very excited and looking forward to this event um so you know the the reason that we have our FIA New England chapter is because you know we needed a grassroots nonprofit organization that could actually cater you know to the Indian uh, you know community here and i you know i think with the leadership that team that we have here like you know Anand ji uh, right here with us today uh, Abhishek uh, Singh who is the you know who is the president of uh, FIA New England chapter Mrs Shova Sharma Mr Sanjay Gokhale we have an amazing you know leader uh, team here and the amount of work that we have been doing here at the um, you know grassroots levels and the amount of work we've been doing for community it has been amazing we have you know ranged from adopting a highway here uh, at you know one of the major um, the highways where we have adopted this highway. We have also done a lot of different uh, activities around Diwali where we have, you know, donated 50, I think 5,000 pounds of uh, non-perishable food. We have, um, yeah, and we've also been, you know, celebrating International Women's Day at Senior Center. So, you know, it's, it's, a com it's an organization that's catering to the entire community, be it children, be it adults, be it veterans, be it senior centers, be it our entire uh, Indo-American community. And I think we have been growing. We have been doing amazingly, uh, you know, um, and we are seeing a lot of success. We are seeing a lot of people come join us. And that's how we are, you know, we are able to do and, you know, scale this event that we have coming up on August 13th, uh, 2020. And just to add to that, I would also like to say we have two events coming up. The one on August 13th, 2020 is, you know, where we are having this International India Day Parade where more than 32 plus countries have actually, you know, agreed to join us. So it's it's an event at a different scale. It's going to be one of the most historical event. And there is a strategic planning, you know, it's happening in Boston. So the cultural uh, capital, the cultural city of Boston, where the Boston Tea Party commenced. And, you know, that's where they fought for their, um, you know, freedom against, against the colonists. Mm -hmm. And we are having it at India Street in Boston Harbor, which is, which is, you know, amazing to see these two democracies of the of, of you know of the world come together uh, strengthen the bonds and we are looking forward to this event 
Absolutely. And I think even a lot of people like me are looking forward to this event. So tell me, you know, this year you have a special goal and mission uh, for the event itself. So I want uh, you or even Ananji to talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. So I can go on this event. We have so, so many things uh, we are going to do that. Uh, first, uh, as uh, um, Neha discussed, told us, like uh, we have more than 32 uh, countries of the different uh, cultural people are coming. They will be the part of the of our uh, parade. Then mm -hmm. we have Baton bands. Uh, that Baton band will be more than 300 people. So will be the part of that. Uh, then we have an uh, airplane uh, which is going to take the India and American flag on the sky of the Boston Harbor. And it will be looking at the, you guys can see this will be so amazing the experience for Indian community. It's more than quarter million people living in the uh, Boston and New England area. And then uh, uh, we have uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, floats. Those floats are going to take the different kind of theme. Those themes could be our like yoga, could be our freedom fighter, uh, could be uh, um, our different uh, background and culture achievement, our Indian, those are living here, uh, they, they did it. All those could be the part of that parade. And other than that, uh, we also um, have a flag hosting. Um, one of the cricketer, R.P. Singh, is all, all will be the part of this uh, flag hosting event in the Chris Christopher Columbus Park in Boston Harbor. So overall, if you look at from uh, the three, four hours, it will be the fantastic event uh, we are, which we are going to manage and we are going to so the world, like uh, those two democracy, one is the largest democracy, one is the older demo democracy. They are going to come together and particip participate in this event. So, so tell me, like, what time does the parade start? It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock and what time yeah. does it end? So around two o'clock. Oh, okay. And you know, like I know every time uh, FIA gets celebrities. So tell me, uh, you know, what kind of celebrities are you going to be having? Yeah, we have already invited a uh, uh, cricketer, uh, uh, R.P. Singh, um, Ruth Pratap Singh. Uh, uh, he's coming uh, on the 12th and going to stay with us for a couple of days. And he will be the uh, uh, marshal and the chief guest uh, uh, during the flag hosting in Boston Harbor. Wonderful. So, you know, when we Indians, we talk about events, food is always like important for us. So what kind of food should we expect there? So it could be we are reaching out all Indian, uh, Indian American also and other communities also. It's not like we are just focus, focusing on the Indian community. It's mm -hmm. kind of is an international event uh, which we are uh, spreading birds around the communities of uh, different uh, uh, um, caste and clay, whatever like or any anyone like oh, who is the uh, one to join us is uh, is open and it should be the international kind of things. And, and just what about, just, yes, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, just to piggyback on that, we are also reaching out to small businesses in and around the Boston region so that, you know, we can give them this opportunity, keeping in mind the pandemic and everything that they have, you know, gone through. We are just making sure that, you know, we are giving them the opportunity to come and, you know, um, put their food stalls there, you know, sell food, make, make some profits out of this event as well. And mm -hmm. Um, just going back to your question on, you know, what, what one of our main goals of this event is. So, you know, being, being Indians, you know, the Indian culture, we always inculcate the value of giving, you know, the value of charity. So one of the main objectives and one of the main goals of this event is also serving the community. So we have invited a lot of charitable organizations, including veteran centers, senior centers, um, you know, um, uh, special centers that do take care of kids with special needs, uh, transitional homeless centers. So we are going to be, you know, giving some, uh, we, we are going to be having all these organizations come over and we are going to give them some kind of donations that we are going to raise through this event as well. So that is a big part of our event as well to, you know, bring all the communities together, bring the Indian and American, you know, diaspora together and just serve the community. So we, we, we are excited and, you know, we are looking forward to having them. Absolutely. I think it, it's very exciting. You know, the kind of work you are doing is like, really, I would say, we are all proud of you for doing this kind of work. So, so tell me, like, is it a free event? Or do you know, people need to pay for this? How does it work? Um, oh, basically, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, so and I was just going to say it, it's absolutely a free event, but we do require registration. So, you know, because it's in Boston, it's like right in the, you know, in the city, 
Um, we we do have a lot of perm, uh, you know permits and permissions that we have secured from everyone that was needed. We are going to have Boston Police at the site, so we would urge and we would you know request everyone who is coming to attend this event to register. We will be sharing the registrations link on our social media channels. We will be sharing them in uh, you know through all our press releases. Um, so anyone and everyone who's coming to the event is going to get um, get a tag that they can have on their um, on their hand so that, you know, it's it's a secure event. We, you know, keeping in mind safety is, you know, at most important. Um, so we are going to be it's a free event and, you know, but we would urge people to register and, you know, come and enjoy this uh, joyous celebration. Absolutely. And I think, you know, as you said it right, you know, you have made arrangements for the special security and there is definitely going to be a tag and it's going to be checked by the Boston police. Yep. So just, you know, all the ITV Gold uh, listeners, whosoever is, uh, you know, uh, hearing us right now, whosoever can watch us, make sure, you know, you do go and register. So, so tell uh, our ITV Gold viewers, where can they go to register? Anandji, I will let so you the, take that. Yeah. <laughs> so on the FIA, Be FIA page or website, uh, uh, we have uh, li links for that one. We have QR code. People can scan that code. Uh, they can register for uh, uh, themselves or they can register for float also. And uh, we have a Facebook page also for FIA New England. People can search on the Facebook and they can like that page and uh, their link also there too. Okay. You know, I know Boston, whenever I visit Boston, the parking becomes a big problem. So, so tell me, what is the best way for people to get to the event? So we have uh, in the like we have FAQ on the like uh, on the page uh, that page providing uh, where the parking lot is available. People uh, we provided the address of the parking lots uh, surround the event, and people can come and park there. So that FAQ is very important. People can go and find out if they need any restaurant, restroom, or parking lot uh, uh, around the surrounding uh, of that place. They can uh, easily can have access. And, uh, you know, lastly, would you want to give any message to, uh, for our ITV Gold viewers? Yeah, we just want to say this is an international event. Uh, we do a lot of charity work uh, other than that also. So we are not limited only like uh, just showing the, um, the, what we are doing, but uh, we basically uh, do all kinds of uh, social work, helping poor elderly people, daycare people, community also providing them uh, food, uh, uh, creating the donation also, and then helping them different community in the Boston and surrounding daycare, Indian communities. We are everywhere. So we are trying uh, recently we also part of the high, um, out of the highway system also in the Massachusetts, we are cleaning the highway. So we are not just only Indian community, which we are targeting. We are targeting as a American, Indian American, we Indian American also our uh, community part of the community and we want to do for betterment of them too. You know, I would just say, just come be a part of this historical event, enjoy this joyous celebration, bring your children, like, you know, let them, let them look at the, let them be proud of, you know, our heritage, our values and let everyone else, you know, this, as, as Ananji said, you know, this event is open to one and all. So we, I would urge every person of every community to come and enjoy this event. We have 32 plus countries coming in. So there is something for someone in this event. We are gonna have a lot of floats. We're gonna have, uh, you know, veterans marching around. We're gonna have a lot of food. We're gonna have a lot of dances. So it's gonna be one, uh, one historical event. And, you know, I'm just urging everyone to come, register to the event, be a part of this and, you know, enjoy the event. You know, Neha, I would want you to give one more time for our viewers the a date, time, and website where they can register. Absolutely. So, you know, um, we are having two events. We are having our first event on August 13th, 2022 at Boston Harbor. And our second event is happening on August 14th in Rhode Island, the state capital. That is where we are going to light up the entire state capital uh, in tricolors. We are going to have the governors join us and a lot of different dignitaries from the you know, US congressmen, uh, a lot of different dignitaries from different walks of life are going to join us in that event on August 14th. Um, you know, uh, there is a tiny URL. It's tinyurl.com uh, forward slash FIA info 2020. Um, 22. Um, so I'll say that again. It's tinyurl.com forward slash FIA info 22. All our information about 
the events on both these days is on this little microsite. We have all our registration links for the Boston event, for the Rhode Island event. And if you want to register for both the events, please do so. We are looking forward to seeing all of you. Absolutely. And, you know, I will definitely be there and uh, ask all our uh, ITV Gold viewers to uh, participate along with uh, your family and friends and definitely make it a big uh, success. And I see here Anand and Neha, they have been working hard, but I will also tell you, you know, before we started the interview, they were like, Are lows gay, gay, They really have been working hard to do the job. So definitely, we would definitely be there. And we are all proud of you for doing a wonderful job and wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you to our team so once Thank again. You. Thank you so much.